If you grew up listening to R&B in the 70s and 80s, we or if your that. folks did, did mm -hmm. then you probably know the name the Bar -Kays. Now, you'll definitely know the name Otis Redding, but what you might not know oh, is that wow. over 50 years ago, the Bar -Kays were Redding's backup group before the tragic plane crash that took his life and four of the original band members. Now, we've already let you know that this month is dedicated to celebrating African-American music and its contribution to society. And with us now is a longtime member. When I say long time, I'm talking about long 1970. <laughs> Mr. Barry, excuse me, of the Barkays, Mr. Larry Dodson is here. As a matter of fact, Larry was the group's first vocalist. Absolutely right. The first vocalist, I'm like only, all that time. I'm that guy. <laughs> because listen, I looked up all of the stuff and Soul Finger, one of our co-hosts yesterday was yeah. singing it. And I found out that you guys just paid some kids who were sitting outside the studio, just some neighborhood kids in Coca-Cola to come in and That's shout exactly Soul Finger. That's exactly right. It was an instrumental uh, song and- um, We need something. They, we, they needed a twist. They needed a hook or something, you know? Yeah. So they thought it was a great idea just to get some bunch of kids in there and just go to hook and say soul finger and just make a make it alive, uh, give it a live feel. A little energy and and feel. they had yeah. Coca Colas and then kids, you know, and they just went around to some of the schools, got some kids, brought them in there, and uh, to be, and believe it or not, mm. I missed that session. Oh come on! By 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 just one door slamming, and I wasn't in the car because yeah. they came to my school to get some kids. Get so I was destined to be in the barcade. And then full oh circle moment. Come on, I'm like telling you, listen. the very first vocal. No, even stranger. Huh. My grandmother, and I didn't know this, but I had to think back on it. I, I was wearing these T-shirts. My grandmother worked for the keyboard players, the original keyboard player family, and I was wearing the T-shirts. And I, I, I came to find right out now. that she was working for one of the Barquets. Yeah, it was a small parents. world. So I was always destined to be this Well, guy. clearly you've come a long way since uh, T-shirts. So. Looking at you yeah. the other day, you've come a love, long way love since T-shirts. the outfit, the suit, well, the shoes, you know, everything. I've been around the block. I've been around the block. No, I got to so say, I, uh, I did tell my mother last night. Mm -hmm. Called my mother. Yeah. I said, Mommy, we got somebody from the Barquets coming on. And she was like, what? The Barquets? She knows the group. <laughs> now, I just have to ask, though, as the first vocalist yeah. of the group. What is it that you sort of brought, what is it that, what did, what did your, your, your voice bring to this group? Well, understand now, the Barquets from the very beginning, their first record, Soul Finger, was a million seller. These were kids in high school. So uh, they, uh, they had been, they had aspirations to just, to get a front guy. Mm -hmm. So I was singing in a group called the Tim Prees, a doo-wop group, who went on later to have some other hits. but. I just became the singer for the band who had never had a singer. So here I am 30 years later, yeah. uh, I mean 30 albums later, you know, two years ago we celebrated 50 years. Wow. Uh, that was two years ago. Yeah. So let's and, actually go back, because I think we have a clip, right? Let's go back to Memphis and Otis Redding. Yeah. This is a short clip courtesy sure. of a TV One show called Unsung. Unsung, yeah. yeah. They did a great a piece on this, absolutely. Barkay's had a stage show that has lasted the, the test of time. Probably the most popular instrumental group in the city. Oh, she may be weary. Here we are in Otis Redden's backup band. They were going to be the next big superstar. They said the plane had gone down and there's no survivors. I was getting colder and colder. To the point I was, I was giving, giving up. Mm. It could have all ended there. Right. It could have. Uh, James survived because the plane only held so many people. Somebody always stayed behind to turn the rental cars in. And Ben actually went down with the plane. Right. I could not that. swim. Oh, By the no. grace of God, he, he held on to the cushion, and he cushion survived. Ever. I joined the band in 1970. Ben, ben was still there. Uh, he stayed in the band for a year or so, mm -hmm. and just he just couldn't take it. Yeah. You know, he stopped and. Uh, we uh, we have been just funk funketeers since then, I and mean, we've sort of been ahead of the trend on everything, right, man. You know, they, right. a lot of Speaking guys. Speaking of, there's been kind of like a resurgence of '70s music Absolutely. and all things. Thank How's that feeling not just, not now? Just the music, What's that doing everything. for you guys? Yeah. It has. Uh, might I say that that piece 
on Unsung was one of the best pieces they've ever done. In fact, it, it, uh, it was, uh, the network said it drove their ratings up. Mm. Uh, they did 48 hours of footage and, uh, and coverage on us on that. But um, this has been a wonderful career for the band. Mm -hmm. Now, on a, on a bittersweet note, mm -hmm. uh, this is my last six months in the band. Mm -hmm. All the performances that I'm doing now are my last performances. I retire at the end of this year. And I will put somebody else in front of the mic. It's been 47 years. So, uh, you know. So why no, are you walking well, away now? Yeah, 47 why now? Well, you know, everybody has a journey. You just you know? been good. Well, I'm 65 years old, <laughs> believe it or not. And not. Not, uh, no. not. You don't believe that? No. No. Anyway, it's been four. I joined in 1970. Now you do the math. Right. Yeah. So, okay. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, I have other businesses in my, but, but, you know, I, I, uh, James Alexander, who's not here, had to fly home this mm -hmm. morning on some, some unforeseen business. We operate the group together. We own the group together. I'll always uh, be here to manage the band. And we have other businesses. We are very, very business yeah. mm -hmm. uh, oriented. Uh, we want to have foundations. I have a lot to stay busy with, guys. So, Don't what's it going to take to fill these shoes and this I suit know. now? Uh, have you already picked a successor? Have you picked a successor? Let me say this. They, we, are, we will be finished with the auditions August the 1st. Yeah. Uh -huh. So there's still we time. There's still time. We have, time. Okay. There, the are, there are two guys mm -hmm. who we're narrowing this down to. One guy is incredible. Is he from Brooklyn? No, he's not. <laughs> he's from is Las, he from Memphis? He's from Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Whoa. I should, maybe I shouldn't even say it. No one's from Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cross between James Brown, Prince, and Bruno Mars. Oh, he goodness. is incredible. So it's a white but, guy. But no, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, before we get to your replacement, where can the people see you? Yeah. Where can the people see Larry? Uh, we will, we will be at, our, at, at our Asbury Park, uh, uh, July the twenty second. Okay. Uh, we will be there, uh, f and that perf the door is open there at twelve. Our performance starts uh, at. Five o'clock. Okay. There's a tour that I own called the Masters of Funk. It features Masters the Barca Barcays, Lakeside, the Mary Jane Girls, okay. uh, Steve Arrington of formerly of Slave, mm -hmm. and recently added since we had to cancel because of the tornado, the storm. Yeah, yeah. Recently added is the Dash Band. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. that's July 22nd. And my farewell sort of a yeah, tour where I will be, we'll be at BB's uh, okay. three days after that on the 25th. Right in Times Square, right here. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. right. So catch, catch. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, I happen to have two tickets. So we're going we'll to have to ask you. No, no, no. You, we'll guys come up, you guys come up with some trivia for, you, for, for your viewers out there. Oh, oh, oh for the viewers. Oh, for the that's viewers. who we were thinking, too. All right, so guys, keep, keep, up with you. keep yeah. watching this keep space. Watch, keep yes. If you watching. want to win that tickets, right we're going to come up with something so you can we see will. the bar case. Let's have a lot of fun with it. The lead singer emeritus of the bar case, Mr. Thank Tappers, you. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I, don't know. I say all fast, all, 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 uh, all flash, no cash. Well, Fair. Mr. Larry all Dodson, <laughs> thank you for stopping by it's on your victory tour. Legacy alive. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, be well. Thank, thank you. you.